Hello YouTube, my name is Andre and I have a new tutorial, a new cheap trick tutorial for you about the Octatrack and about the other machines. Today I want to show you something that you can generally do if you produce music and on the Octatrack you can sequence external gear for example a mono machine or a rhythm or a Nord stage or Korg Volkas or an iPad whatever you want and I want to sequence the external instrument through the MIDI option on the Octatrack and then I want to um, record this and mingle the sample and then I want to play both of the um, both of the um, things together and so you have something like a um, deluxe version of your sequenced MIDI stuff. So it's just a sh cheap technique how to beef up your production sort of. So I have a Nord stage connected and I have um, my first six tracks um, corresponding to my Nord stage. So it's on track one is the first slot piano, second is um, a sample, and then an organ, and a distorted piano, for example. And I have the MIDI channel set up here. And now I can um, start recording um, a very basic piano sequence, and then I want to sample it, and then I want to change the sample and see how it works together with the piano sound that I um, have sequenced. So let's get started. I have set my metronome to a four to a one bar pre-roll. So if I start recording, I get um, the clock signal on my headphones. You can't hear it, unfortunately, but um, I can hear it. And after one bar, it records. You can set this up in the settings. Maybe I can show it to you very um, fast where is it metronome and here is the pre-roll you can have more i have set it to one bar it only works on the midi channels as far as i know for recording so let's get started just a short practice what i wanted to play um something like this Yeah, that's it. So let's start. Okay. Woo. Not perfect, but you can fix it. So now I have my MIDI sequence here, and now I can skip through and check for all my bad playing, my mistakes. There's one key missing, so I put, put another one. Ah, oh, shit. Wrong. It's a D. It starts with a D, I guess. Copy the track that I that's wrong here. Copy, clear, go to the next and paste. Something wrong here. I copy and paste it. That's good. I mean, you know, if you can't play piano and you have an octant track, um, you're you're a lucky person because with this you can um, get around some serious problems that you have if you can't play piano. But if you have an Octotrack, it's good. So I have the sequence and now I record it in the in a flex machine. Um, I set a recorder trick here. So you do this by function and record and then you have the recording setup and if you now put a trick here you get um, a recording trick and this records 
in a B. So I set this accordingly that only in a B is recorded. And if I now push play, it should record. And let's go. Ah, I did the recording trick on the wrong page. Ah, I'm so sorry. Once again, only set to in AB and hit record. Okay, now I have recorded a sample. I can show you if I deactivate the, the MIDI slot. I muted it. I should listen to the recorded sample. Put a trick here and good worked. And now I can start and do whatever I want with this um, recorded piano sample. Okay. here on the filter. Good, and that's sort of a backup track for my real piano if I play this together now. Unmute the piano track and let's go. Start with the guitar, maybe. First, set my recording length to max so that I can play more than four bars, longer than four bars. And okay, turn up the mobile. Sorry and just jam out a little bit. got one problem if I have connected um, the piano and the guitar through one input so I have to mute the piano sequencing it's bad but I have to so once again I muted the original piano and now I only have the affected the sampled slot playing it's okay too did another bad mistake. I was on the wrong track and now I um, overdubbed my initial piano sample. This happens sometimes. I'm sorry that it happens right now, but no problem. I can uh, re-record my sequence. So I do this again and I put my recording trick here. And if I now press play, it should sample. And let's get started. Okay, 
I'm sorry. There it is again. Mute the original piano sampling, go to the next track, and now I can start playing the guitar. Too bad. First, sometimes you have to adjust um, your longer sample to the tempo. Sometimes this uh, is detected wrong. So if you set your recording length to max, you have to um, think about your BPM. And then if you go to the sample, you see that he calculated it a little bit off. So it's 129, but you have to set it. Um, go to function and edit and then to the settings and here you can adjust it to 130 and then it should be a perfect loop. That's a little drawback if you record longer samples on the Octatrack but that's a good workaround. So set up and listen. Did I uh, no recording trick and play. Some effects here. And one more thing you have to do is you have to change this to a one-shot trick. If you play longer samples or you have to adjust the length of the of your sequence. But I use um, one-shot tricks. So you do this by pressing function and um, pressing the trick. And now it's a one-shot trick and it goes on forever until you um, stop the track. So listen to this. Good. Maybe some wave drum. basic rhythm sequence and then I record it and I play it backwards and have some effects and this goes very good along with the original sequenced drum.
sampling. Done. Now I mute the rhythm. And let's see how this sounds. Backwards. Maybe put some random tricks. You you could also slice this if you want to do it even go even further. Um, you add some slices here and do this. Create slice grid. Yes, sixteen slices. Okay, and now I uh, create a linear locks. Okay, cool. And if I now um, slice, uh, enable slicing here. Slicing is on. Very good. And then let's see if this works. If I go to slice mode, I have some slices here. Now just record a sequence. sequence. Basically, the idea you can beef up your sound if you sample the stuff and you play it along with your original sequence to improvise and just just the technique to your taste. 
Good luck, my friends. It's always a pleasure with you. My name is Andre. Thanks for watching.